might have seen a lunar eclipse before. They happen just about as often as solar eclipses, but they're visible from the entire night side of the planet instead of a thin line across the continents. On January 31st of 2018, there was or will be a total lunar eclipse during a supermoon and a blue moon visible in most of the United States and Canada. This hasn't happened in 150 years. A blue moon is when there's two full moons in a month. It doesn't actually turn blue, it's just the same. A supermoon is when the moon is closer to the Earth in its elliptical orbit, making it appear brighter and bigger than usual. A lunar eclipse is when the Earth passes between the moon and the sun, casting a shadow on our space neighbor, turning the moon a dark, ominous red color. But why does the moon turn red? Well, to answer that, I'm going to have to go all nerdy science guy on you. See, the Earth's atmosphere bends the sunlight that passes through it. Light itself is a rainbow of colors as seen when projected through a prism. The atmosphere acts as a sort of prism and bends the red light around the planet while reflecting the blue light, making sunsets appear red on the surface and the planet appear blue from far away in space. If Earth had no atmosphere, the eclipse on the moon would be pitch black and it would appear as if the moon were invisible when it moved behind the shadow of Earth. So when you look at the moon and it appears red, that's the light from the sun being bent through our atmosphere. It's trippy to think about, but hey, science. The moon can sometimes appear red or orange even when there isn't an eclipse, because the light in the atmosphere isn't always bent directly back. But why isn't there an eclipse every time the moon is full? You see, the moon orbits Earth on a tilted axis of about 6 degrees. This small wobble in the orbit makes eclipses much more rare than they would be otherwise, making the event that much more exciting to see for yourself. But if you live in the Midwest, more specifically central Wisconsin or east central Illinois, this eclipse coming in January is something special for us. We're right on the edge of total visibility with the moon covered entirely by shadow, just as the sun rises and just as the moon sets. In Madison, Wisconsin specifically, the moon will be in complete shadow while it's a measly 3.3 degrees above the horizon. This means we'll have to move somewhere with a very clear western horizon and you'll have a better view on a hill or high place. As night returns to morning, the moon will slowly become more engulfed in shadow. The penumbral eclipse phase begins at 4.51 a.m. on Wednesday, January 31st, when the moon is 24 degrees above the horizon. This phase will easily be seen if you get up early enough. Now the penumbral phase of a lunar eclipse is when the Earth's penumbra is on the moon, while its total shadow is not. You see, because the sun is much bigger than Earth, its shadow is split into two sections. The outer, less darkened shadow is called the penumbra, and it's similar to the fuzzy shadow you see around your finger when you hold it in front of a lamp. This is always the first and last phase of a lunar eclipse. It isn't very exciting, but it's definitely awesome to see. The real treat is totality. At 5.48 a.m. on the 31st, the partial eclipse phase begins and you'll see the darker shadow of the Earth along with the lighter shadow. Around this point is when the moon is entirely covered by these two shadows, and it's not much longer before totality. At 6.51 a.m., the eclipse will reach the total phase when the moon is just three degrees above the horizon. You'll see the beauty of Luna. And the darkest phase of totality happens when the moon is 0.7 degrees up, meaning most of it will be under the horizon. But what makes this eclipse worth making a video about is that this is right when the sun rises. For a very short time, you'll see the moon in the shadow of the earth while the sun rises from the opposite horizon. This is an incredibly surreal experience and it won't happen again in the Midwest for a very, very long time. Viewing an eclipse of the moon is a beautiful sight in itself. 
But to see this just as the sun rises may as well be its own celestial event. I hope to see you out there.